but now new secrets are being unearthed. Biggest excavation in a generation, layer by layer. Archaeologists are revealing a new snapshot. The discoveries keep on emerging. One intriguing aspect of our world is the evidence of past civilizations that have left their mark. You've likely come across stories of archaeological findings, such as the mummies in Egypt or the Egyptian pyramids. Today, our attention shifts to the discoveries unearthed in the United States, recognizing that significant findings can occur anywhere. Join us as we explore 20 mysterious archaeological discoveries in the United States. Number 20. Mystery Hill America's Stonehenge Originally referred to as Mystery Hill until 1982, America's Stonehenge is a captivating archaeological site sprawled across approximately 100,000 square meters near Salem in New Hampshire, northeastern United States. The history of this site becomes somewhat hazy due to the interventions of William Goodwin, an insurance agent who acquired the land in 1936. Goodwin fervently believed that Mystery Hill provided evidence of pre-Columbian Irish monks known as the Culdees inhabiting the area. In his enthusiasm to support this theory, he rearranged numerous stones, disrupting their original placement and inadvertently diminishing the archaeological significance of the site. The current custodians, the private entity America's Stonehenge Foundation, attribute the enigmatic nature of Mystery Hill to Goodwin's interventions. Despite this, the site continues to intrigue, inviting contemplation about the remarkable engineering feats of people over 4,000 years ago. It remains uncertain whether this construction is a testament to Native American culture or the handiwork of European settlers. In 1982, amateur archaeologists rebranded the site as America's Stonehenge, shedding light on its ancient origins. What is certain is that this man-made marvel, with an estimated age surpassing 4,000 years, stands as the oldest known construction in the United States. Recent revelations highlight its role as an authentic astronomical calendar, accurately predicting annual solar and lunar events. A chilling facet of the site is the sacrificial stone, rumored to have been employed for channeling blood through its indents. However, this notion remains shrouded in uncertainty, leaving the purpose of these grooves open to speculation. The mystery of America's Stonehenge persists, challenging us to ponder the ingenious achievements of ancient civilizations. Number 19. Cahokia, Illinois the ancient city, now recognized as Cahokia and sometimes hailed as the City of the Sun, boasted a population surpassing that of London during its era. With an estimated 20,000 inhabitants, this bustling metropolis comprised small neighborhoods where people dwelled in thatched huts. Scattered across the landscape were 120 mounds, serving various purposes. Some functioned as foundations for the residences of the city's elite, with the largest mound reaching an impressive height of 100 feet, establishing itself as the most sizable earthen prehistoric structure in the entire Western Hemisphere, a veritable mic drop in architectural achievement. Cahokia's secret to prosperity lay in an unexpected source, corn. Through an extraordinary feat of agriculture, the city's residents cultivated vast expanses of land, transforming themselves into adept farmers. This agricultural success enabled the community to expand and achieve self-sufficiency, fostering remarkable technological advancements. Archaeological evidence supports the city's engagement in trade with neighboring communities, further propelling its development. Within this advanced society, a ceremonial structure known as the American Woodhenge emerged. Comprising 48 cedar wood beams arranged in a circular formation, this impressive construction served as a solar calendar. Over time, researchers discovered the existence of five more similar structures, each expanding in size by 12 poles. The reason behind this intriguing progression remains a mystery, adding an extra layer of fascination to Cahokia's enigmatic past. Number 18. Lake Winnipesaukee. Mystery Stone. Despite its uncanny resemblance to a Hollywood A-lister's prop, this artifact stands as an enigma with a completely unknown origin, name, age, and purpose. Unearthed in the late 1800s by a group of laborers excavating for a fence post, this stone has eluded comprehension, persistently captivating and perplexing those who endeavor to unravel its mysteries. On one side of the stone 
Intricate carvings depict scenes of agricultural life, while the flip side features imagery that can only be described as spiritual in nature. What adds an extra layer of intrigue to this already enigmatic artifact is the impeccably drilled hole that traverses its center in a straight line. The hole presents a peculiar aspect. It is larger at one end than the other, raising questions about the methodology behind its creation. The clean-cut hole remains a baffling testament to the craftsmanship or technology applied by an unknown artisan in the past, leaving modern investigators with an unanswered puzzle. Number 17. Miami Circle In a surprising twist reminiscent of Stonehenge's discovery, Miami boasts its own historical monument, unveiled quite unexpectedly in 1998. The accidental revelation occurred when property developer Michael Bowman aimed to replace an old 1950s building with his luxury apartment complex. Little did he anticipate stumbling upon something far more intriguing during a routine archaeological review, the Miami Circle. Distinguished as the sole evidence of a permanent prehistoric structure in the eastern United States, the Miami Circle predates other permanent settlements along the East Coast. This perfectly formed circle spans an impressive 38 feet in diameter, capturing the imagination of historians and archaeologists alike. However, in difference to the site's sacred history, Bowman initially proposed relocating the entire circle at his expense to facilitate construction, triggering a significant public outcry and likely a measure of embarrassment for Mr. Bowman. Beyond the circle's inherent fascination, the surrounding area revealed additional mysteries. Animal bones and unused tools were scattered about, prompting speculation of offerings and suggesting a potential spiritual or sacrificial dimension to the site. Adding to the intrigue, some tools were crafted from materials not native to Florida. Notably, the stone used in the construction of two axe heads was traced back to Macon, Georgia, over 600 miles away. This revelation raises an intriguing question. How did these materials find their way from Georgia to Miami, adding another layer of mystery to this unexpected archaeological find? Number 16. Winnemucca Lake Petroglyphs, Nevada While pinpointing the artist with the most cultural longevity is a subjective endeavor, the occupants of Winnemucca Lake in Nevada undeniably leave an indelible mark on the cultural timeline. This arid lake bed is home to the oldest recorded petroglyphs in North America, discovered by a group of archaeologists led by the University of Colorado paleoclimatologist Larry Benson. Benson's team conducted radiocarbon dating on carbonate layers within the petroglyphs, revealing the remarkable age of these ancient Native American carvings. Using various methods, including determining the water level of the once-connected Winnemucca Lake subbasin, the researchers concluded that the engravings date back at least 10,500 years. However, the possibility of an even more ancient origin looms, with potential dating extending to 15,000 years, making them the oldest known petroglyphs in North America. The lake, once alive but shallow until the 1930s, underwent a transformation when a road and dam were constructed nearby, obstructing the flow of water and causing the lake to dry up. As for the content of these ancient artworks, deciphering them remains a challenge. The petroglyphs feature abstract depictions, with interpretations suggesting elements like clouds, lightning, and possibly trees. The ambiguity of these images sparks curiosity, prompting us to imagine the enigma that would surround our own drawings if discovered thousands of years in the future. What stories would they tell, and what mysteries would they hold for generations to come? Number 15. Bighorn Medicine Wheel Nestled at an elevation of nearly 10,000 feet on Medicine Mountain, the Bighorn Medicine Wheel stands as an imposing mystery in the Bighorn Range of Wyoming. This colossal 80-foot-wide structure captivates with its grandeur, and its significance transcends its massive scale. Medicine wheels, also known as hoops, are not bound by a singular form or purpose but they share a common thread across Aboriginal cultures, the profound connection to the circular shape symbolizing the continual alignment of the self with the natural world. These enigmatic structures were ingeniously designed to represent the Earth's boundaries and the expansive universe encircling it. Beyond their physical presence, 
medicine wheels have played integral roles in both physical and spiritual healing ceremonies. The Bighorn Medicine Wheel, with its meticulously arranged stones forming an almost perfect circle, takes on an additional layer of marvel. Though the exact purpose of this monument remains shrouded in mystery, the stone spokes are strategically positioned to align with celestial events, such as the summer solstice. It stands as an architectural wonder, a testament to the ingenious understanding of astronomy by the ancient builders. What adds to the intrigue is the diverse array of meanings attributed to the wheel across different tribes. Remarkably, some indigenous groups still utilize and honor the Bighorn Medicine Wheel in contemporary times, ensuring that its enigmatic legacy endures through the ages. Number 14. Berkeley Mystery Walls The origins of the Berkeley Mystery Walls are veiled in perplexity and conjecture, sparking a myriad of theories that range from Vikings to Lemurian beings from a lost continent, Mongolian sailors, and even speculations involving the Vatican. This enigmatic wall, stretching over 50 meters in length, stands as a perpetual enigma, confounding historians and archaeologists alike. The wall, modestly measuring just five feet in height, falls short of being a defensive or protective structure, intensifying the mystery surrounding its purpose. Adding to the intrigue is the complete absence of any historical record documenting the construction of this monumental structure. Interpretations of this absence diverge. Some researchers view it as a tantalizing challenge, using the dearth of information as a blank canvas to formulate increasingly peculiar conclusions. Alternatively, skeptics may argue that the wall simply lacked significance, making it unworthy of documentation. One perplexing facet of the wall's history is the absence of a clear record regarding its construction. Some propose a pragmatic explanation, suggesting that the wall was erected by sheep and cattle runners to segregate their livestock from the untamed surroundings. While this theory holds merit, questions persist. Why do sections of the wall lead to unexplained stone circles toward Mount Diablo? Even more puzzling is the random branching of a segment of the wall, forming a sprawling 200-foot-wide spiral. The Berkeley Mystery Walls persist as an enigmatic testament to ancient craftsmanship, leaving us to ponder the multifaceted riddles embedded within its stone structure. Number 13. Fossilized Footprints, White Sands National Park Human history, with all its mysteries, often finds its most poignant expressions in the personal connections we share. In a profoundly human entry on this list, the discovery of fossilized footprints at White Sands National Park unfolds a narrative transcending time, a testament to the enduring nature of interpersonal relationships. In 2018, archaeology and anthropology witnessed a breakthrough as researchers uncovered prehistoric human tracks, constituting the longest and straightest fossilized human trackway ever found. This international team postulates that the primary set of footprints belong to a female embarking on a significant journey, a trek accompanied by a smaller set believed to be those of a toddler. In a remarkably relatable revelation, these footprints reveal a timeless aspect of human relationships. The familiar routine of, I'm tired, pick me up, and I'm bored, put me down. It's a glimpse into a shared human experience that has persisted for over 18,000 years. The mother's footprints weave a captivating narrative alongside those of mammoths, giant sloths, and saber-toothed cats, offering a holistic perspective on the human experience intertwined with the prehistoric ecosystem. This particular story sheds light on a facet of humanity often overlooked in historical narratives, one characterized by a mother's perseverance and boundless love echoing through the ages. Number 12. Meadowcroft Rock Shelter, Pennsylvania. Venture back 19,000 years, and you'll uncover a glimpse of how the first inhabitants of the New World lived. At a rock overhang overlooking Cross Creek, the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter served as a shelter from the elements for the native inhabitants of the region. Abandoned during the American Revolution, this archaeological gem was rediscovered in 1955, prompting the realization that it might have been home to some of the earliest people in the New World. The sheer wonder lies in our ability to gain even the slightest understanding of the lives of these ancient individuals. The Meadowcroft Rock Shelter has become a time capsule offering insights into cultures of the past, 
revolutionizing our perspectives on history. Recent excavations have yielded tangible evidence of these people's day-to-day -day existence, unearthing pottery, blades, and fragments that provide a tangible link to the Paleo-Indian period. Artifacts will always remain astonishing. Fast forward to more recent times, a 160-year-old coffin was found beneath New York in 2011. As old tools and artifacts come to light, sites' mysteries deepen, compelling us to piece together puzzles of the period and the lives it harbored millennia ago. Number 11. Hemet Maze Stone The enigmatic Hemet Maze Stone, a prehistoric petroglyph believed to be over 500 years old, only captured the public's attention in 1914, adding a layer of mystery to its history. What sets this stone apart from other artifacts is its singularity, an isolated engraving that distinguishes it from the usual array of petroglyphs. A distinctive feature of the Hemet Maze stone is the presence of a traditional swastika, a symbol commonly associated with ancient Buddhism and Hinduism. However, the intriguing aspect arises from the fact that these cultures were not particularly active in California during the time of the stone's creation. This raises questions about the stone's origin and the cultural context in which it was crafted. Archaeologists, delving into the surroundings of the stone, have uncovered artifacts dating back as far as 500 years. Yet, the petroglyphs on the Hemet Maze Stone differ significantly from Native American petroglyphs found on other artifacts in the vicinity. The quest for clarity regarding the stone's history remains elusive, leaving us to ponder its enigmatic origins. Unfortunately, the 20th century brought an act of vandalism to the stone, with an individual etching a new swastika onto its surface. Consequently, the Hemet Maze Stone is now enclosed behind secure gates, safeguarded from further desecration and, regrettably, limiting our ability to unravel the mysteries it holds. Number 10. Chaco Culture National Historical Park Imagine residing in a building where the most revered members of your society found their final resting place. Perhaps a bit eerie, isn't it? This unique scenario comes to life in the expansive grounds of this national park, where several buildings stand, with the grandest among them known to archaeologists as the Chacoan Great House. Dating back to a time between 800 and 1150, when Chaco was the epicenter of the Puebloan culture, the Chacoan Great House played a multifaceted role in the community, serving as a venue for ceremonies, a storage facility for food, a hub for hospitality and communications, and even a burial ground for esteemed individuals. This structure exemplifies the central importance it held in the lives of the people. Remarkably, a segment of the Great House was designated for living quarters, creating a space where the living and the departed coexisted. This dual-purpose usage accentuates the immense cultural significance of the building. The construction process itself was a testament to meticulous planning and collective effort from the entire region. Passed down through generations, the endeavor became a communal legacy, with each citizen contributing to the work initiated by their ancestors. This intergenerational collaboration highlights an extraordinary sense of community, reinforcing the enduring importance of the Chacoan Great House in the tapestry of this ancient culture. Number 9. Casa Grande Ruins The enduring allure of Casa Grande, Spanish for Big House, lies in its enigmatic existence, drawing people from across the country to witness a building shrouded in mystery for over seven centuries. Believed to have been constructed in the early 13th century by the ancient Sonoran people, this four-story high structure remains a testament to their craftsmanship, withstanding the test of time despite being abandoned around 1450. In 1694, the first recorded encounter with this perplexing edifice was made by Jesuit missionary Padre Elio Francisco Quino as he journeyed through what is now the American Southwest. Despite the passage of time and numerous inquiries, the purpose behind the construction of Casa Grande remains elusive. Crafted from a rock called Caliche, Casa Grande stands as a sturdy monument, its silent walls holding the secrets of a bygone era. While the specific function of this structure remains unknown, contemporary explorations have unveiled a fascinating aspect. Timed just right, the view from the roof offers glimpses of equinox and summer solstice movements, 
hinting at a potential celestial connection that adds an additional layer to the mysteries surrounding Casa Grande. The enduring fascination with this ancient structure lies not only in its impressive architecture, but also in the unanswered questions that continue to surround its existence. Number 8. Montezuma Castle Montezuma Castle National Monument stands as a repository of awe-inspiring evidence from the ancient Sanagua civilization, showcasing both man-made cliffside castles and naturally carved alcoves. The central castle, a marvel in itself, could potentially house up to 35 individuals, while the surrounding grounds accommodated neighboring families, forming a community of around 200 people. This permanent settlement is believed to have thrived from around 1050 to an estimated departure year of 1400. The landscape surrounding the community boasts numerous alcoves, sculpted by the forces of wind and rain. These natural formations, believed to have served as storage spaces for food and necessities, also held profound spiritual significance for the Sanagua people. The enigma lies in the limited artifacts that provide insights into their lives, undecorated pottery, woven cotton, and architectural structures resembling sites like Tuzigut. Despite these archaeological finds, much about the Sanagua people remains elusive. Will we ever uncover more about their daily lives, rituals, and beliefs, or will the mysteries surrounding this ancient civilization persist? The journey into the past at Montezuma Castle National Monument continues to unfold, offering both glimpses into a fascinating history and posing questions that have yet to find their answers. Number 7. Dighton Rock Dighton Rock, a huge 40-ton rock found in the Taunton River near Berkeley, Massachusetts, has carvings on it that people have debated about for a very long time. It was discovered in 1680 and has mostly lines, shapes, and drawings of people with unknown origins. In 1963, during the building of a dam, the rock was moved to Dighton Rock State Park to keep it safe. The park got listed as a historic place in 1980. People have different ideas about who made the carvings, suggesting it could be the work of a missing Portuguese explorer or maybe Native Americans, Phoenicians, or Vikings. Some even think it might hold secrets about an old civilization. The mystery of Dighton Rock State Park makes us wonder if someone purposely hid the truth about its origin. What secrets could this rock be hiding about an ancient culture? The answers are still unknown, making Dighton Rock a fascinating mystery. Number 6. The Blythe Intaglios The Blythe Intaglios a series of colossal geoglyphs etched into the Colorado desert near Blythe, California, are truly awe-inspiring, demanding to be seen to be believed. Comprising three human figures and two animals, these geoglyphs were meticulously created by removing dark rocks from the ground, revealing lighter sand and forming intricate lines, an artistic technique reminiscent of the NASA geoglyphs. The largest of the human figures stretches an impressive 170 feet in length. The mystery deepens when contemplating the meaning behind these giant figures. Could they represent a creator from an ancient tribe? Surprisingly, no Native American group has claimed ownership of these geoglyphs, though some continue to use and value them. These enigmatic figures have silently adorned the landscape for an estimated 450 to 2,000 years, yet their immense size makes them nearly imperceptible from ground level. It wasn't until 1932, when a pilot flying from Las Vegas to Blythe caught sight of the geoglyphs, that they garnered attention in the media. This raises the question, how did this unknown ancient civilization accomplish such an extraordinary feat, creating intricate designs on a massive scale that remained hidden for centuries until viewed from the sky? The Blythe Intaglios remain a captivating testament to the ingenuity of an ancient people whose legacy has left an indelible mark on the desert landscape. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Take a look at this image. Yes, you guessed right. A coffin. A 160-year-old coffin was found beneath New York in 2011. Workers in Queens found something strange while working. A pipe that turned out to be an old iron coffin. Inside was a body so well-preserved that the police thought it was a recent crime. But when forensic archaeologist Scott Warnish looked at it, he knew it was something special. After a closer look, 
They found out the body was of a young African-American woman who had been preserved for about 160 years. She looked so fresh that it seemed like she had only been dead for a week. Further research even hinted at who she might be. Martha Peterson, a 26-year-old. It's quite surprising to find something like this under the streets of New York. What do you think about this discovery? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 5. Bandelier National Monument Nestled within almost 40,000 acres of land, Bandelier National Monument stands as the home to multiple prehistoric cliff dwellings, an awe-inspiring dwelling place of the ancestral Puebloans spanning from 1150 to 1600 AD. Covering a significant portion of the monument, over 70 miles of hiking trails invite exploration of this remarkable landscape. The rich history of this area reaches back over one million years, marked by the eruption of the Valles Caldera volcano, blanketing the land with volcanic ash. Capitalizing on the sturdier materials produced by the explosion, the ancestral Puebloans ingeniously crafted bricks, while the softer material was carved out to form dwellings. The result is a nearly otherworldly landscape, showcasing the architectural ingenuity of these ancient inhabitants. Adding another layer to its history during the Second World War, Bandelier National Monument served as a residence for those involved in the infamous Manhattan Project. From ancient times to modern history, this site has witnessed a remarkable array of events, embodying the enduring spirit of exploration and adaptation across the ages. Number 4. The Great Serpent Mound Imagine using a snake as a calendar. That's precisely the intriguing purpose behind the Great Serpent Mound, or so we believe. This effigy mound, stretching over 1,340 feet, resides in the little village of Peebles, Ohio, and its serpentine figure is ingeniously designed to mark the passage of time and the changing seasons. The serpent's head aligns with the summer solstice sunset, while the bends of the tail facing eastward point towards the equinox and solstice sunrise, providing a natural and celestial calendar. Despite the clarity of its celestial alignment, the origins of this remarkable effigy remain somewhat unclear. Some theories suggest a link to the Adena people who lived over 2,000 years ago, given the abundance of similar Adena structures and burial grounds in the area. However, in 2019, new research proposed that the mound was possibly rebuilt approximately 900 years ago during the Fort Ancient period, adding another layer of mystery to its history. The Great Serpent Mound stands as a testament to ancient ingenuity, offering a unique perspective on how civilizations creatively observed and marked the passage of time. It's a reminder that even in the digital age, the calendar has taken many forms throughout human history. Number 3. Judicula Rock In North Carolina near Cullohee, there's a cool rock called Judicula Rock. The Cherokee Indians knew about it even before they lived there. This special soapstone rock has carvings that are over 4,000 years old, telling a story from way back in North America's history. They named the rock after a Cherokee spirit named Judakula. The carvings on the rock show the whole Cherokee world, both the real and spirit parts. One interesting part is a big handprint with seven fingers, representing Judakula, who could go between different worlds. People say spooky sounds come from the rock at sunset, which is even scarier because there's a graveyard nearby. We still don't know who made these carvings. Did they do it with the help of Judicula, Or was it the spirit himself leaving his mark? The mystery of Judicula Rock is still interesting to people today. Number 2. Devil's Tower National Monument, Wyoming If you want a cool place for a fantasy movie, check out Devil's Tower in Wyoming. When the sun sets, it makes the tower look amazing against the horizon. The tower became the first national monument in 1906 because people loved it so much. Even though it looks peaceful, Devil's Tower was formed from hot melted rock that turned into columns. Native people think it's a special place for magic things. They do traditional ceremonies there. Besides its magical meaning, some people think aliens might visit Devil's Tower. This makes the place even more interesting. Whether you like magic stuff or aliens, Devil's Tower is a great place for a fantasy movie. Number 1. Kanishba Ruins The Kanishba Ruins, consisting of an impressive 600 rooms, host an enormous Mongolian great house that stands as a testament to a bygone era. 
Constructed and inhabited for approximately 200 years, starting in the 12th century, these ruins mirror the ancient population boom along the Mongolian Rim. During its peak, Kanishpa boasted an estimated population of up to 1,500 people. The structure's rooms, each roughly 12 by 14 feet in diameter, were interconnected around a central fire pit, creating a communal living space. In the courtyard, a kiva, a sacred underground room designed for religious ceremonies, stands as a focal point, underscoring the spiritual significance of the site. Around the late 12th or early 13th century, five kivas were built. However, during the mid-13th century, a fire consumed the rooms, believed to have been constructed with unreliable resources. The destruction raises intriguing questions about how this event might have been perceived during its time. The Kanishpa ruins offer a glimpse into the history of a once thriving community, prompting contemplation about the challenges and changes that unfolded over the centuries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.